I'm staying in this community. I've seen what this school has done in this community because we have a, little, a lot of children and the number of government schools are not enough. And I've seen that this school has helped a lot of children by retrieving them from the streets. Some did want to go to the street, but because of this school, they are now able to learn. In fact, they are now using their time wisely, which is, of course, a very important achievement. The Future Search Workshop inculcates the importance of 10 key business tenets. The personal entrepreneurial competencies, PECs, to sharpen the business acumen of its participants. Without fail, each successful business applies some, if not all, of these PECs. I learned um, various um, competitive uh, skills which have enhanced my business, such as uh, calculative and strategic uh, risk taking, uh, financial management, um, business planning, um, persuasion skills to do with communication and advertising, commitment to the work contract which enhances the value of your services to customers as well as general customer relations. Of the 10 pegs, uh, most that I, we have used in this business, uh, one is risk taking. We, we realized that we had to spend we had to take certain risks in order to improve. So risk taking, we have just found out that uh, we made a very good decision uh, to take some risks. And another one is uh, the offering of quality uh, services to uh, the clients, the customers. That one has also uh, helped us. And in fact, uh, it is not an idle boast to say that uh, our internet services are the first test in Kitwe. You can find out for yourselves, you can go around all the internet uh, uh, cafes, you will definitely discover that we offer the best internet services in Kitwe. Networking it has really helped me because uh, we have got a lot of partners now and through that I was able to find information where I can find the tools of using, you know, to help orphans and vulnerable children. So Future Sage has really helped me in those lines. The HIV and AIDS pandemic, which has affected most Zambians, has not spared the graduates of the Future Search program. The organization is now offering HIV and AIDS sensitization in its programs. All staff were trained in uh, sensitization of HIV and AIDS. So we incorporated the HIV and AIDS sensitization into the mainstream program of the project. This we have found over the past two, three years that it is working. Venturing into business even after training by Future Search can be a daunting task. An additional helping hand from those who have experience is always welcome. Future Search therefore introduced a mentoring program to address the problem. Our new graduates in entrepreneurship are attached to a seasoned entrepreneur, not only one who has been through the Future Search program, but any other successful entrepreneur. This was introduced in 2007 so that the upcoming entrepreneurs can learn on the job how to succeed in business. Rose Sichangwa is an ardent believer in sharing her knowledge and experience with upcoming entrepreneurs. It's, it's important, as I mentioned earlier, to do some networking, but also just to encourage other people uh, through a, sort of a mentoring program. I've had some people come here actually to ask, asking me, how, how have you succeeded? This looks like maybe it's a South African uh, run business. I said, no, it's just run by me. If you want to learn something, I'm very open. I have one young lady actually who just finished at uh, Future Search. We are very much in touch and I've been encouraging her on ways of how she can, she can do her business. She's not in the bakery business, she's um, in supplying of uh, foodstuffs from South Africa and also just local uh, products. So I'm, I'm encouraging her to, to do that. But people are, again, as I mentioned, they've come here and We've gone around the bakery. I've shared some uh, recipes with them, how they can they can go on, go on with a similar business like mine. Mm -hmm. 
The Future Search program is a government program designed to benefit all Zambians who are interested. Training is free. So if you want to access our training programs, you are free to come and participate. We are located in Lusaka at the former Management Services Board on Jacaranda Road and our telephone number is 257501. The regional office on the Copper Belt will service the Copper Belt itself, the Northwestern Province, Luapula Province and Northern Province. So you are free to access the, these two offices for the time being. The one in uh, Ndola is housed at the Ministry of Labor, at the Labor Office in Ndola. This is your program by the government of Zambia. Uh, your only uh, contribution to it is your time.